friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on July 18th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to another video here from Daily Events. And this is the Volcano Activity and as well the Planetary Positioning Report for Week 30, 2022. As we just had quite an event there with Mercury, Retrograde, and Venus. And now we've got Mercury on the other side of the sun, as we've been able to see on the Lasco satellite imagery, but watching the last few days as it came into view. But we're still dealing with all of the planets hanging out in one corner of the solar system right now. We'll have a quick look here from now until the end of the month as to where our planets will be going. But this planetary event I've talked about it many times. It's been at least six to eight hundred years since we've seen all of the planets in this corner of the system so close to each other. We can't forget about Uranus there as well. But we've seen things amp up in earthquakes and as well we've seen our sun amp up in its frequency quite a few sun events to report recently now let's put this into motion here until the end of the month Merc mercury will be coming around the sun again getting ready for mercury retrograde in august towards the end of august but right now we are about to go in line with saturn a little retrograde with Saturn. First couple of weeks of August. So we can definitely watch for an uptick in seismicity across the planet. As these gas giants do affect us. Especially Saturn and all of its moons. Amazing universe we're living in. And quite a complex solar system our planet lives in. This is an app called Solar Walk. You can all check it out, download it yourself, and see what's coming to our world through the Milky Way. Of course, this is a volcano activity report as well. Having a look now at all of the active and erupting, which are the red icons and orange. We're going to start out here in Mexico with Popopcatitl. Moving southward to Guatemala with Santiaguito and Fuego, as well Messiah into Ecuador with Recon de la Veja, south into Colombia, where we have Nevadas de Ruiz, Reventador, and as well Sangue. Pretty active as of late. Sabincaya in Peru. Nevadas de Chilean in Chile and as well Villarica. Heading across the ocean here to Africa where we have four active volcanoes across the continent. Two here near Marigira and as well near Gongo. And as well, El Doño, Lengai. Northward here with the Urta Ale volcano, Shield volcano. And then up into Italy, where we have, of course, Etna. And as well, Stromboli. the Bay of Bengal, Barren Island Volcano, and as well Krakatoa on the 29th of June, Anak Krakatoa is erupting since then, as well Merapi, and Semeru, Luatolo, all through Indonesia, four volcanoes there erupting. 
Northern Indonesia here with Ibu and Dekono. Quiet through the Philippines. Japan. We've got Swiss and Ajima. As well as Secure Ajima. And then up into Kamchatka. With the Ebuko Volcano. Shovelich. Bezimiani and as well Karamiski. Across the Aleutian Islands now with the Great Sitkin. Minor activity or eruption warning. And eastward here with Pavlov Volcano. Of course, in the middle of the Pacific, we have the active and erupting Kilauea Volcano. Heading over here to Papua New Guinea, Manam, as well Bagana, southward here to New Caledonia, where we have the Aoba, and as well Yasser. Increased activity through the Kermadex this week, and then finally here. Erubus, the mighty Erubus, the, the only active and erupting Antarctic volcano. Watching these regions this week, as we've had an increase in seismicity, and as well through Indonesia, with some pretty major eruptions. Looking now at the current eruptions, Smithsonian reporting an active and erupting 47 volcanoes, but that was as of June. They have not updated and I have counted now 48 volcanoes across the world that are active and erupting. A long list here from the Smithsonian. We also like to correlate the SO2 emissions maps. This is the forecast brought to you by Windy, showing the SO2 models. Quite a bit of activity coming out of Popa Paketitol in Mexico, as well as South America, Pluming, New Caledonia with Aoba and Yasser. We also have quite a bit of SO2 coming out of Nishinashima, or it looks like Nishinashima, but through the Marianas Islands. Definitely see some emissions coming out there. Across the rest of the world here, showing the emissions over the next three days forecasted by Windy. Amazing planet, folks, and grateful to be alive every surviving day. I also wanted to correlate here, this is CO2 forecast models, as we've got quite a few fires burning in Africa, South America, Intense activity coming out of China. And as well, some pretty large wildfires that have erupted through eastern Russia. Showing the CO2 models there. And as well, look at NASA Worldview. Showing a satellite imagery of these fires over eastern Russia. And there are many of them. So heads up, stay safe, stay aware and prepared. Appreciate you tuning in to the Volcano Activity Report for week 30, 2022. Leave you here looking at the SO2 models brought to you by Null School of our planet. Again, thanks for watching today. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. We'll see you for tonight's update. Bye-bye now. Today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.